a wild one between the Panthers and Sens Monday night. Brothers Matthew and Brady Kachuk were the ringleaders, obviously. The family not so happy. Yep. Marty, you and your brother played against each other in the NHL. Of course, you were a goalie. He was a D-man, so you never got to drop the gloves against each other. But what's it like when brothers become rivals on the ice? Well, first of all, I didn't drop the gloves against him because he was six foot seven and 240 pounds, and he would have killed me. <laughs> but, look, when you play, your team backs you up. There's more emotions. There's more intensity because of that. I remember my team thinking, we're not going to let you lose this game. We're not going to let him score. And every time you make that save, you're kind of feeling a little bit better. I remember when Wayne Primo and Keith Primo got into that fight, and I played with Wayne Primo. And he said, look, you don't go into the game thinking you're going to fight your brother. But when you get squared off or you get in a scrum with your brother, all those past, you know, like uh, incident on the backyard pond, street hockey, or even playing video games or board games where you flip the board or rage quit or whatnot, it all comes back to you. And then you get angry and you get fueled by emotion. And then all of that takes over. So that's why we're seeing Brady and Matthew get into it. They don't want to get started the game with a fight or anything like that. But as the game gets going and the intensity is there, all the past memories of all these battles in the driveway or playing mini sticks and hotel lobbies or whatnot for hockey tournament, it all comes back. It's natural. Sibling rivalries are the best rivalry in the world. Uh, don't talk to me about, you know, Battle of Ontario, Alberta, whatnot. Sibling rivalries are the best rivalries. And then they get together for Christmas dinner. That's going to be classic. Nobody, yeah. as you say, has history on each other quite like brothers do. I hate to bring this up, but Matthew did actually score on you. There had to be a time or so when you got under each other's skin, no? Oh, we used to get under each other's skins all the time as kids. I used to send him home crying. He was three years younger than me, and my mom used to always say, Matthew, why are you home? Nothing, nothing happened. Uh, and he would get under my skin because he's better at a lot of things, and he was younger, so that's why I used to unplug the, uh, the Sega Genesis when playing NHL or whatnot. <laughs> but when he did score that goal in Florida, it was so interesting to me because I didn't even know he was the one that scored it. And then I look up, and he's celebrating like it's the Game 7 overtime Stanley Cup Finals, right? And I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm going to hear about this for a long, long time. The next summer, we used to host a golf tournament. He got the puck put into a plaque. He delivered it to me. <laughs> the crowd went crazy. It was fun. I remember my parents were in the crowd, and my mom was Yes. Oh, no, because she had that double reaction, right, of the goal, thinking of my brother Matthew and myself. <laughs> so, yeah, we had moments where we got under each other's skins, but it never happened that we got into a scrum, so we got emotionally to the point where we wanted to fight each other. And now all these years later, we get to enjoy the Kachuk brothers doing the same. Uh, they combined yeah. for 27 penalty minutes on Monday, but they weren't the only guilty ones. A total of 167 penalty minutes in the game, the most in a single game this season.